Hey everyone, today I'm diving into the fascinating world of explanatory design. If you're a researcher looking to unlock deeper insights from your studies, this approach might be just what you need. So, what is explanatory design? Simply put, it's a sequential mixed methods approach that starts with quantitative data collection. You gather numerical data first, analyze it, and then move on to the qualitative phase. The goal of this second phase is to explain or elaborate on the initial quantitative results. Let's break down the process. The two-phase design is the backbone of explanatory design. Phase one involves collecting and analyzing quantitative data. Think of surveys, experiments, or statistical analyses. The findings from phase one guide the second phase. Here you dive into qualitative methods like interviews, focus groups, or case studies to provide a deeper understanding. But why use explanatory design? One key advantage is its ability to address unexpected findings. Say your quantitative data reveals something surprising. Instead of leaving it as a loose end, you can use qualitative methods to explore it further. This can add rich, contextual insights that numbers alone might miss. Another approach within explanatory design is the follow-up explanations model. This model is laser-focused on specific quantitative results that need clarification. For instance, if a survey shows a significant trend, you can follow up with interviews to understand the why behind it. In summary, explanatory design offers a structured yet flexible way to merge numbers with narratives. It provides a comprehensive view, making your research more robust and insightful. So, if you're aiming to dig deeper and uncover the stories behind your data, give explanatory design a try. Thanks for watching and happy researching.